We are looking live at Edinburgh. I have turned the camera to the north, and you can see off on the horizon this little brown uh, color here. That is the smoke from the fire up towards uh, Kennedy and Brooks County, Falfurious, and the Premont area. And uh, we've got high pressure, so it's pushing that smoke down keeping it from really escaping in the atmosphere. So that's why we've had some problems on roadways up there with that smoke crossing the highway. Uh, we just got word Texas Highway uh, 285 is reopened. Now the concern is going to be as we go up Highway 281. I'll show you that here, reason why here in a minute. We've got high pressure taking care of us. So the cloud-free skies will continue for today, for tonight. And then tomorrow we're going to see increasing clouds and a small chance of some showers around the area. So future cast is going to be showing again not much in the way of any clouds until you get off of the Gulf waters right up against the coast. We could see a few high clouds moving across the area later on today into this evening. But that's going to be about it. And the winds will be shifting to the east, northeast to east, southeast over the coming days. So we've got the humidity around in the mornings, but then in the afternoon, it all uh, dries back out again. So by 3 o'clock this afternoon, looking at teens and 20s as far as relative humidity values for basically, I'd say, the western two-thirds of the valley. And that's where we're going to see the biggest concern for fire weather danger today. The wind gusts aren't going to be a big problem. I think maybe up around 20, maybe some spots up to 25 miles per hour, but all in all, lower wind speeds than we've seen for quite some time. So the fire weather risk today is elevated. Again, winds gusting around 20 miles per hour or so, very dry vegetation. So if you must do any outdoor burning, use extreme caution. It is a powder keg out there with the dry grasses and the low relative humidity. So fires all over South Texas, but the one we've been focusing on uh, lately has been the Borrega fire complex, which is basically from now west of Kingsville. So the winds have shifted out of the east. It's pushing the fire westward now and pushing all the smoke westward as well. Yesterday we saw that smoke coming into the valley on north breezes. So with the shift of the winds, it's now moving towards uh, the uh, Premont and Falfurious area. So 281 is right there. So it's going to be interesting to see how that smoke is going to affect the highway as you head out of the valley up Highway 281. My suggestion is go up Highway 77. That is looking much better this afternoon. Mid and upper 80s to near 90 degrees for your lower valley temperatures today and then well up into the 90s, uh, mid and upper 90s into the upper valley. Out on the island, low to mid 70s for highs today. Overnight tonight, we'll have mostly clear skies. Some clouds starting to increase uh, by daybreak. And those temperatures are going to be cool again in the 60s, lower 60s, which is right where we should be this time of year. 62 is our valley average zone. Those winds will be out of the east at about 5 to 15 miles an hour, gusting up around 20. Speaking of the island, UV index very high today. Rip current risk is also high. Looking at uh, surf running 3 to 5 feet, that water temperature is still a chilly uh, 68 degrees, which has come up over the last couple of days. And we're looking at a low tide, uh, as already occurred actually, high tide is at 3.52 this afternoon. Sunset tonight, 7.47, and we're looking at a moderate chop out on the bay. You can track the weather in your backyard just to go to your app store for your mobile device. Download the Valley Storm Team weather app. It's available for free. For free. It'll set you up, get you all set for hopefully some rain chances coming down the pike. Unfortunately, we're not looking for a whole lot. The pollen out there, tree is still high, and grass and ragweed is in the low category. There's your seven-day forecast. The weekend is almost here. Tomorrow, we're going to see more clouds around and a lot more humidity in place, and the temperature should hold then in the lower 80s. So we'll start out kind of cool tomorrow morning, comfortable anyway. And then dry conditions for the weekend, and then another shot at some showers on Monday. Small chances, folks. Nothing promising, but then very hot for the middle part of next week. I think we'll see valley wide temperatures near or above 100 oh, by the middle of next week. It's Yikes. that spring weather here in the valley that we all used to. <laughs> I kind of hope we do get some rain, though. I know that possibility is slim. I but know it is slim, but hey, we'll take it at this point. Well, we'll watch. We'll have to wait and see. Thanks so much, Jim.